For some reason there has been some kind of Five Nights at Freddy's craze these days. All the kiddies are playing it at school. PewDiePie has done it, and even President Obama has played it. Here's a clip right now. So, I just thought I'd put together a video showing you, the kids at home, how you can build your own Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy with Lego pieces you have lying around the house. Just in time for Halloween. So without further ado, my name is Edu. Let us get started. <laughs> on our journey to build all four animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's in Lego form. This time we take a look at everyone's favorite, Bonnie. Before building I would like to note that if you have any of these pieces besides the nose or teeth in lavender or light shade of blue, I highly recommend you use it. The Bonnie in the video is light gray. I'd also like to note that compared to the others, Bonnie has a very similar build to Freddy due to their similar appearance in the game. So anyway, Let's begin. Number two, Bonnie. I really have nothing to say about Chica. Well, other than the fact that one day I was screwing around with my Lego collection and thinking about how the Lego Fun Off animatronics had no bodies. Then, I noticed the Lego Bowser I had. And then, the moment of discovery. I realized that Bowser's torso was a perfect fit for Chica. But that doesn't have to do with jack shit. Let's go. Number three. Wait just a burger flipping second. I forgot to mention that in the video you're about to see, I accidentally put the toothpiece on top instead of the bottom. <laughs> John, that doesn't go in there, you silly bitch! <laughs> Our Five Nights at Freddy's miniseries by taking a look at everyone's real favorite, Foxy. Sorry, Bonnie, you're just no good anymore. In fact, he's everyone's favorite so much that when I try to look him up for reference images, all I get is creepy fan art. Most of it is cute. Some of it is extremely scary, and almost all of it is either Foxy as a human, or Foxy as a girl. Gross. Number 4, Foxy.
for YouTube. Um, thanks for subscribing and and stay tuned for more videos coming. Thank you for subscribing. So how do I make one liter of a 0.9% weight volume normal saline solution? 0.9 grams in every 100 milliliters of solution. So being able to read that in terms of percent, percent is out of 100. We realized that we could write this as a unit conversion, that there's point nine grams for every 100 milliliters. Well, I want a whole liter. What do I know about liters? Well, we need to get liters to milliliters before we can convert it to grams. So what do I know? I know milla is a thousandth, so there's one thousand milliliters in one liter. So here we've identified what we know to be able to get what we want. What we want is how much salt do I need so I can add water to get a solution of one liter of normal saline. So I'm starting with I have one liter and what do I know about liters and milliliters? Well this one's actually easy. You could have just said well we have a thousand milliliters if I have a liter but let's go ahead and show the math show the dimensional analysis seeing liters cancel because if this had been a different number like if I made it to make five liters we would have put the five here times 1,000 then we would have gotten 5,000 milliliters but this problem is pretty easy it's just liters if I make one liter of solution that's really one times 1,000 1,000 milliliters so now I have milliliters. Now I can use this concentration given by in, from the percentage to be able to get grams of that 
salt. There are 0 0.9 grams in every 100 milliliters, so 1,000 times 9 divided by 100, and we get easily cancel two of those zeros out, cancel two of those zeros out, 10 times 0.9 gives us 9 grams of sodium chloride. Now ask yourself, does that make sense? Yeah, if it took 0.9 grams for every 100 milliliters, then 9 grams for every 1,000 milliliters. So how do I make an entire liter of this solution? I'll need 9 grams of sodium chloride. So I'm going to And I'm going to add water. Water's our solvent. Sodium chloride, our solute. And I swirl to get all that sodium chloride dissolved. Then I'm going to continue adding the solvent until I have exactly one liter of solution. This is called a round bottom flask, and this is a really good piece of glassware for getting exactly one liter.